Okay, guys, you can congratulate me. Finally, I pull out this tape transport out of the deck. <laughs> it required to assemble everything. Even like front panel had to be unscrewed. And like all boards, like almost all boards has to be unscrewed. And like so many screws, like there are, you will see. Like, and even the rod which uh, adjust volume, which goes there to the back of the amplifier, had to be removed. So that's how much work it required to work on it. And you may see this famous copper plated honeycomb chassis. So I don't know. On well, my mind, it just a fancy thing. It doesn't bring any improvements. Maybe just a little bit more harder and will less resonate. But that's it. And here is a tape transport. So you may see it from the different sides. Uh, unfortunately, not a direct drive as was with uh, A9X and A9 decks, but basically the same tape transport they use it across all their decks. You see the only part in this series, they like, uh, oh, they like uh, rotated it like 10 degrees back uh, to make sure that capstans will sit on their backs and face would not be jumping. So that's mainly it, no other difference, the same as like from 10 years before Pioneer started to produce this so named reference tape transport. Okay, so let me see, let me open and we can, can see our heads in a close up view. Uh, come on. Here we go. And you may see, I was like wondering uh, to see that there is no adjustment on the left pinch roller here. And uh, all adjustments for the heads base done with this screw. So it sits right here. And this screw adjusts like all three heads, uh, how they sit on the tape pass all together. And then we can adjust separately each head uh, on this base. Not sure that it is the best solution, but it works. You may see yourself. And pitch rolls appear to be in a good shape still, so probably I will just clean them up uh, and let them run in for more years. those switches I would need to get to. I'm afraid I may need to unsolder them if like a deoxidizer would not work well. So I probably would need to remove this board, unsolder them and make sure that they will work nice. I have read that Pioneer has a problem with these two switches. And the other one is just like for record protection. So that's it. Since this belt is narrow, the other one is white. There, you see it's white. So I'm ordered new belts, so I will replace all three belts here. So we have a common gear belt, a belt between two capstans, and belt from motor to the primary capstan, and idler on the front. Okay, hope this will help you. Uh, to remove front panel, we have four screws here. One, two, three, four. Uh, four, uh, two on each side uh, here, and two here, and two at the bottom. And then we need carefully, like, uh, it, like pull outside these two handles carefully to not break the cover because cover sits separately uh, from the wire here. 
pretty strange construction haven't seen it done in any other deck so let me know if you seen that okay so thanks for your time see you on the next part bye bye